I just want to say that you will hear the audio going in and out during this entire video. All right, so today's video, we are cooking. So we're gonna call it Cooking with Jess. That's gonna be the title of this video when you see it. But today, we are going to be making some um, mashed potatoes. I'm going to attempt to make some asparagus. And I'm going to do some smothered cube steak. Some smothered cube steak, mashed potatoes, and a, some asparagus. I'm trying to get more healthy and eat, start eating more different veggies and stuff. Because all I eat is broccoli and corn. So, you're going to see. My dog thinks she's going to get this potato. But she's not. But yeah, let's start pulling these little things because you know they eat. Let's start pulling these potatoes because they take a bit. Take a bit. You just gotta. I struggle with pulling stuff, so we'll see how this goes. See, it starts flinging all over the place. <laughs> My mommy the other day. That I miss is diverse my cooking. Let me carry y'all. Y'all on my upload tripod. That diverse my cooking. Start cooking different things. Oh, I'm back there. I said I was gonna back there. So I asked her some things. We're gonna use. I'm only supposed to call me back before I start the doing it. But I know I'm, I'm hungry and. She gave me the directions earlier because I asked. Well, we're gonna use some garlic powder. I guess that she's using that. Um, some onion powder. I always use McCormick's brand. But. They were out of H-E-B, and I went to Walmart as well when I went shopping, but we got there. I don't think I saw a big one. I, I don't know. I did, but I was like, why would I get that? And this one is bigger, so I was like, whatever. Anyway, then we're going to need some salt. I guess some pepper. I don't know, I don't know how to season cube steak. Um... I'm gonna go with those four things. I read what she told me to do. Alright. And these steps. So, let's see. Let's see. 
Şöyle de size süsleyeceğim miyiz? Yes, biz alıp oyu kabul bağlamak için gibi sizin için. So actually, we're gonna be using this big old pan thing my mom got me. And she's here. And I'm basically been using it for like everything. <laughs> this is like a breakfast. It's so handy. Thanks, mom. I don't know if I said that. We're gonna use that. We're going to put the oil in here so it can heat up. About it. So by the time that we're done, let me fix this back up. So then, by the time that we're done seasoning, it should hopefully be hot. Um, what you think? She said olive oil. She said olive oil. I got some E V O O extra virgin olive oil. And then we'll come back to the skillet, right? I'm just carrying y'all because I don't feel like with all the extra other stuff. Pour it here. She said cover the bottom. Now we're going to be doing the searing it so that she said that means browning both sides. But she already know I don't understand. So, cover the bottom. It will still mean good so I'll leave it out. And then medium high heat. Turn that on. We come back over here. And season. I'm just gonna do it over the sink like this, as such. And we're gonna season both sides. You gonna wait to eat, little boy. So we put in two of these in here. Just push it fit. Like the instruction said, she said sear. So then it's brown both sides. And since I'm done with this cutting board now, I can use I'm gonna throw this one in the dishwasher and use the bigger one. I think it's eight potatoes, so hopefully that should be enough. I'm just gonna cut it in half. I suck at cutting things. I'm gonna grab that here. Get off! You wet potato. Cut it into fours that way. Right? It's all wet, it's gonna be. I have it this way, so I'm gonna take it, flip it this way, and cut it down that way. So there's that. Let me check this and see if it's with the oh. check the cube stick here. Hold on, my back up, guys. Back up, y'all. Up on me, y'all. Up on me. See, look at that. Brown. That's all she had to do. So then we just go ahead and flip it. 
I'm just gonna get down my back. If eight isn't enough, I can always make something different to go. If eight potatoes isn't enough, we end up having, you know, like, let's just say some extra cube steak left or something. I can make something small to go with the recipe. I need to turn on this water for me. It's on fast boil. Nah, I guess we'll just do cut the one quarter part. Cut that in half. Uh, four cubes. And so now we have my soup. Just focus on that. Four little cubes like that. I think that should be good. And I'll just toss them back in his water. Because <laughs> I want to cut all of them before I put them all into the water. Because it's still um, getting ready to boil. Hey guys, so next they're making is gravy. I'm on the phone with my mom because I don't know how to make gravy. So you had the skillet turned all the way up. Oh hi. Mm -hmm. So we're now making our gravy. We just took some flour and some water, and we do go ahead and whisk that stuff together. Um, now you're normally supposed to put the water and then the flour, but um yeah we didn't do that <laughs> we did it backwards on accident but it's okay it's okay next time we make some gravy we're gonna do it the right way but then we just go ahead and do all of that mixy mixy make sure it gets all dissolved um to the best of its ability since we did do it backwards so you see me actually taking out some clump sets but the gravy's supposed to be you know smooth but it's okay so then we're just gonna go ahead season it all that good stuff make sure it tastes good um depending on what type of um, gravy you want you can either do chicken bouillon cubes or beef bouillon cubes since uh, we wanted beef we did the beef i think next time i make some gravy we're going to do chicken because i'm thinking about making some smothered chicken um chicken legs so this is chicken legs yeah yeah i feel i think we're going to do that um next time i i make some gravy because I've, I've been thinking about that but yeah, we just do all that, make sure it tastes nice and good. And then, like I said, you'll see me taking out these clumps here. But all right, that, guys. Now we are heading to the mashed potatoes. Okay. We got our gravy here. Her about it helps with mom. Our water is boiling for our potatoes. Let that boil. Shaky, shaky, shaky. So it can be all good. Wait till it boils before I put the meat in. Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is how you, this is what you're going to see in the video. So now that the gravy is all done and all of the cupe that we have cooked is all seared, I made uh, four, I think. But yeah, we just put all of that inside the gravy and it'll uh, finish cooking in there for like, I don't know, 40 minutes, I think. So yeah, and we did clean up after ourselves as we went along. Okay, so we're gonna come Out 
stiff, hard, you know, things of such nature. I told my mom will call her. Y'all gonna see this in another video. <laughs> I'm gonna set that over there for now. I don't really need this cup anymore with this stuff in it. Right now, this is for this video. This is all I need right here. No, not 100%. I think she does. Let's go ahead and give her a call, y'all. The potatoes are soft. Yeah, the other day I told mama that <laughs> mom's on phone but I told her that what if I eventually start making money from YouTube or whatever that she gonna have to get a cut because I'm always talking about her in, in my videos. But anyways, let's get these mashed potatoes. Uh, we just took some butter and seasons of your choice. I did a season of the umbo chase ugh, of my choice, and as you can see, I used some sour cream in there too. And you can use either ranch or blue cheese. Totally up to you. And we just used our little um, hand mixer thingy my wigger here to get all of that together. Uh, you can taste as you go if it needs more seasoning. And then you just go ahead and add more of your choice. And then I like it, mine's to be smooth and not all chunky. So I did make sure I blend that up real, real good so it could be smooth, not chunky. Then we did go ahead and check our cube steak here, flipped it over so that the other side can get as much love towards the closer to the heat, just like the opposite side did. So make sure you do do you do that when you're um that doing good. that. And also taste your gravy. Make sure it's good. Look at me dancing, baby. And two tablespoons of the um olive oil here. My tablespoon is being washed right now, so we're just gonna use the half one and make it two. It's a two tablespoons. I already um chopped my ends off on the asparagus. That's what we're supposed to do, right? I think so. We are testing asparagus today because it's all yellow. One, two, three. Those are my four half a tablespoon. Yeah. 
tablespoons, two tablespoons. Half, half is one tablespoon. Mix it together. This is salt, right? Got some in my hand. We're just gonna sprinkle it on in there. Ooh, it's on. Well, we definitely do it like that. I don't know how much salt we need, but we need a tiny bit more. Pour too much in my hand. We're not gonna be all that should be good enough. And then we're going to use garlic powder because I don't have regular garlic or like minced garlic or anything. A little bit of that. Mix it together in the pan here. Cool. And then we'll put this stirring in here. Come on, cut it. Come on. Come on. I thought I was cutting out earlier. Just a little. Stay here. Hi. Right. Hold on. Let me roll this. I think I've been this do about that much. Okay. And now <laughs> And then here's our plate. 
And if you want, you can have a little bit of gravy on the um, asparagus. If you want to. Just try it out. Just mess it small a little bit. We'll do the ends. Some gravy on it. If you want to, y'all. Put some salt on. This is our plate. And our cube steak. Oh, the um, asparagus here. So that's it. My toes is good. Y'all already saw me test the cube steak to make sure it's going all with it. And I actually poured some gravy on my asparagus. So let's see how that tastes. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my finger. Thank you.